Hello, I'm Piers Corbyn of weatheraction.com, long range weather and climate forecasters. And today is the 5th of August and I'm speaking for, to you from St George's Churchyard Gardens near London Bridge on a better than average day in a pretty poor summer for the UK and Ireland and Europe. Today I'm going to give you uh, reports on the summer so far around the world, uh, especially in areas where we do detailed forecasts, Britain, Ireland, Europe and the USA. Uh, I'm going to report on recent advances in the solar lunar action technique, uh, give some notes on the rest of August and talk about the state of climate wars. Okay, now as we warned more than a year ago, the world is going through a period of extreme weather events driven by uh, jet stream blocking and sticking which are caused by solar lunar uh, uh, events which we can predict. Um, and the extremes that we did specifically predict have turned out to be true about 90% of the time, such as the very uh, cold uh, December in the UK uh, and, and Europe, uh, the series of blizzards in, in America, the uh, tropical storm deluges in Australia, uh, and uh, many events uh, around the world. And uh, in during the summer, and the late spring and summer, there's been an increased number of volcano and uh, earthquake activity, which we uh, have predicted to an extent in our trials. And there's been many extreme events around the world, including very serious uh, drought in the Horn of Africa, which of course has been developing for some time and is to do with a type of uh, jet stream blocking situation. Now, summaries for what's happened in the UK and Ireland, first of all, um, are warning that we would not have a delusional, if you like, uh, warmest uh, super summer, barbecue summer, or summer, are warning that that would not happen has been proved correct. And instead, we've got a often cool and extremely wet at times uh, summer with serious flooding in Scotland and uh, uh, Northern England. With deluges in parts of Europe such as in, in Germany recently. All of these things were predicted by us and unexpected by the warmers. For the USA We've had, as we predicted, extreme heat with accompanying tornadoes and thunderstorms at times when we predicted. Uh, at the end of July, there was a uh, short period of cooling in the USA, most of the USA, which we predicted. However, it was temporary. Uh, and we'll talk more about what's going to happen next soon. Um, but the American forecasts we've been making have been extremely skilled, uh, proven to be very popular, and the new style maps with uh, weather news in them are proving very useful to forecast users in the USA. And if you want to know more about those, just go on to weatheraction.com and look for USA Extreme Events Maps. Thank you. In the last month we've made notable advances in the solar lunar action technique which is used for forecasting extreme events and weather patterns a long time ahead but now we've also extended it in a trial manner to include earthquake and volcano major developments. 
at the end of July we had a significant triple success of uh, American thunderstorms and a general cool down in most parts of America which was only temporary however but we knew that the formation and track of tropical storm Don and uh, earthquakes around the world such as in Fiji in the time windows we predicted all these events confirm our method uh, and in addition to these around the same time there were some very high clouds called noctilucent clouds which are 50 kilometers up instead of the average 5 or 10 kilometers up for, for most other clouds and these occurred around this time of world extreme events and earthquakes and they had also occurred about one solar rotation before when there were some other extreme uh, events uh, uh, bearing in mind the solar equator rotates a bit faster than the rest, rest of the sun um, and as far as we can see these noctilucent clouds are also connected with solar events and uh, <coughs> If this is true, it means some more might turn up around the 21st of, of August or so. It's worth having a look at that. Now, uh, what uh, this means, these advances into solar lunar action technique 6B, is that we now have more ability to distinguish between, for example, swarms of tornadoes which are associated with thunderstorms and simply packs of thunderstorms which do not give tornadoes but a generally larger scale stronger wind uh, in a larger scale sense uh, events and this is quite important and people reading our forecast closely especially the American ones will notice these these distinctions and at the same time we have an associated ability it seems to distinguish between major earthquake events and major earthquake events with volcanoes these are trials but still interesting and all these things are available now to the public in our extreme events rest of world forecast available through weatheraction.com Okay, so some now notes on the rest of the Northern Hemisphere summer. On the 4th of August, there were very major events on the sun, which led to uh, proton bursts of 100 million electron volts. And bear in mind, bursts of one million electron volts are significant so these are a hundred times bigger than things which we often talk about as significant and at the same time there was a coronal hole facing the earth now that means there's going to be very fast solar wind hitting the earth soon and big corresponding weather and earthquake and volcano type events so watch out for these things first of all the situation in Britain, uh, Ireland and Europe is going to change quite dramatically into much cooler and much wetter in a general more mobile situation which we forecasted uh, months ago anyway but now is the time and it is taking place. In the USA what we're having is even more extreme heat but it will break down and our forecast spells out when so I urge you to go on the website and get the extreme events USA forecast um, and around the time of the USA breakdown uh, of heat which will it will last it will stay cooler um, there will be a general worldwide change in jet stream patterns largely increases in mobility so have a look on the website for that. Thank you.
Okay, news on climate wars. The carbon dioxide delusional warmists, of course, are continuing to claim that all these extreme events are somehow driven by man-made carbon dioxide. Now, you know, such as the floods, the droughts, the heat wave, they do this even though, quite insanely, they know that we predicted these events from events on the sun to the upper atmosphere to, to, uh, to the earth, right? Using understanding of what happens on the sun, sun-earth magnetic connections, lunar modulations and so forth. So there is no evidence whatsoever for their claims and there is only evidence for a solar lunar driven system. Um, what they say is delusional, anti-scientific, self-serving and dangerous and must be stopped because it's a justification for unnecessary taxation. It also means that science is being held back. So people who should know and be warned about things are never warned about things. And the New York Times will ignore all warnings that we send them, for example, even though it could help save lives. So we, along with others who are interested in getting the truth in science across to the public, are continuing with our campaigns. Again this year we're going to have a Climate Fool's Day celebration or event marking the day when the uh, British Parliament uh, passed a law against nature to um, impose taxation in the name of saving the planet, as they would have said. And that's going to be on Wednesday the 26th of October this year and we hope there will be, as last year, simultaneous events of support around the world such as in Australia. Um, and I would urge you also to look at the climate debate, argue with your politicians and support what we and others are doing on this. Because in the end, science must triumph. Thank you.